I'm Galarin, Synod Hopeful. If you have any cuts or bruises, I'd be happy to practice my restoration on you. Stranger, have you seen my dad? Stranger, have you seen my dad? Dad's a soldier in the Legion. He's always off with them, serving at some fort up in the mountains. He's big and tall, with yellow hair. That's what my mom told me. She told me that her dad was in the Legion, too. She works at the Duralview Inn. I don't think she likes it there, but she says she has to make ends meet. Whatever that means. Whose end? And why does he need me in the first place? Licinia Ironheart. She told me that she used to be called Licinia Prelius, but then she married Dad. Yeah. Grandpa told me it's a soldier's duty and that I should be proud of him. At home, I think. We all live in the big house across from the wizards. Celis Prelius. Mommy says it's a strong imperial name, but I like my name better. It means I have a strong heart. Mommy must like it better too, because she uses it even though it makes Grandpa mad. See you around! What is it? I'll teach you what I know, for a small fee. that there I I see cutters huh I swear those damned bandits are getting bolder and bolder to rule the entire county soon I here have this a little bit of coin least I can do here's hoping Avar can return here in time Can I help you? Let me know if anything catches your eye. See you. 
Welcome. The name's Edvia. I'm Holgard's assistant. My hammer, a goblin's head, and a mug of ale. Great way to spend a Freitas night. can I get you? Oh, that girl. I hope she hasn't been too much trouble. Yes, yeah, she's mine in Heron's. Well, used to be at any rate. Recently, she's just been mine. He was stationed at Fort Pale Pass, but we haven't heard anything for months. None of the soldiers passing through here on leave have seen him either. I've sent letter after letter, but they still haven't told me anything. I have no idea where he is, what happened to him, or if he's even still alive. The Imperial Fort placed right on the border to Skyrim. Mostly waters for illegal border crossing. God, you're distressing the customers. Yes, many times. I've sent letter after letter, but heard nothing. I can send as many letters as I want, but if Heron isn't even at the fort, then he's hardly going to see them, is he? You would? I'd be indebted to you if you did, stranger. Like I said, he is... was... garrisoned up at Fort Pale Pass. It's right on the border to Skyrim. Good luck. And please, stranger, I beg of you. Find my heron. How about that, huh? And you... you talentless, tasteless fiends! How dare you insult my music! Damnable tavern! Damnable owner! It's a dingy squad filled with criminals, rats, and lice. The amount of underhanded deals and crooked business that goes on there, it beggars belief. I wanted the proprietor to land in hot water with our dear guard captain. He deserves it, no? Say, would you help me with that? You should help me because the tavern is filled with criminals. They deal with bandits. They steal, they rob. Surely it's only right that they face justice for what they do. Excellent. As it so happens, I'm a mage by trade. I have access to many magical items from my home of Eleanor. Take this. It's a very special memory gem. I have one active at all times, and this particular one recorded everything that happened in the tavern that night. Take it, and let the guard captain listen to it. Irrefutable evidence. I'm sure he'll see fit to take action then. See? No, you can I'm proud of my ancestry, as you'd all know it's been. Can I help practitioner you? Of the art of song since ah, just like old times. Why not? The same reason I sell ancient Nordic artifacts, so that the young Nords here in Bruma can be reminded of the roots. Bruma has all the surface droppings of Skyrim, the snow, the cold, but <laughs> Skyrim is so much more than that. Something Bruma isn't and can never be. It's about the Nordic ruins dotting the landscape, about the dragon walls. It's about the diversity, Wide Run and the Reach, the Pale and East March, that variation of Nordic culture. It's something Cyrodiil doesn't have. I'll be content if my presence here reminds just a few Nords that they're not just Imperials with more facial hair and deeper voices. It's doing well. A lot of travelers stand to buy from me, as well as young Nords who are soul-searching, trying to find the Nordic heritage here in Cyrodiil. Bye. Hmm? Ah, 
How may little Dartacto help a be- Who oh, in oblivion told that- Yes, indeed. This one labors long and hard to earn his keep. Hunting can be tiring, exhausting, but this one must press on. Although... Hmm... This one is feeling a bit lazy today. What if you were to bring him some bear pelts instead? He will pay you well. Because this one has lucrative contracts with the merchants in Bruma that ensure he makes a profit. So Dartacto will simply offer you a price between the standard going rate of the pelts and the lucrative price he will receive. Profit for everyone, yes? Except Sidis Perusius. He has no idea he's being ripped off. Excellent. Just return to this one when you have, oh, say, ten of the pets. Can I help you? <laughs> Remember, a life full of adventure is the... Well, I would be, but unfortunately, I've got some debts to pay off. I've been doing odd jobs around town to help raise the septums. Sorry, lass. That's something a man like me keeps private. Talk to you later. I'm Albecius of the Ducani family. Be careful if you head into the northern part of the county. That area is prone to avalanches. Citizen. Excuse me, sorry to bother. I don't suppose you've seen any priceless Sakaviri heirlooms gallivanting around Bruma, have you? Sakaviri heirlooms. Priceless Sakaviri heirlooms. Seen any? As I suspected, sorry to bother you, citizen. Just, uh... Let me know if any do crop up, yeah? Thanks. It's tough. On one side, you've got criminals. The kind that like to hide behind law and policy to wriggle out of justice. On the other, you've got politics, constantly meddling in our affairs as everyone walks on eggshells. And here I am, in the center, just trying to make things work for the people. Sometimes I wish I'd stayed down in the Imperial City. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. We have it fairly okay compared to some other parts of the province. The problem is that the criminals here aren't driven to it out of desperation. They just want the coin. To get rich. They know how to game the system. Except, Dartakto. He's... Well, never mind. I've probably told you too much. No, I, I can't. Sorry, but I can't go blabbing about people's... checkered pasts. For County Bruma. Oh, well, this should be interesting. Go ahead, let's listen. A whole lot of uproar about nothing, that's what. The Count's been nagging my life and soul out about the damn things. You see, the Carvanes have a sort of family tradition. They've acquired a taste for Akaviri artifacts, constantly collecting more and more. Been going on for centuries now. 
Well, it turns out poor old Count Desilus... <laughs> Count Carvain? ...isn't too happy that his collection's been stolen. I... Well, that's... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Absolutely! This is driving me crazy! Just bring them back to me when you've found them, and I'll be extremely appreciative. And I mean extremely appreciative. Seriously. I feel like offing myself right about now. I have no idea how they'd manage that, honestly. Either adept stealth or good luck. Probably a bit of both. Akaveri artifacts. I don't know anything more specific than that. Rignar and the Count both told me, but honestly it flew in one ear and out the other. If you want to know exactly what artifacts to keep your eyes peeled for, talk to Rignar. I'm sure he can help you more there. I'm not too sure on the details of that, to be honest. Rignar, the castle steward, was the first one who noticed them missing. Might be worth speaking to him, if you think that's interesting evidence to dig up. Almost definitely the resale value. Akaviri artifacts are very often one of a kind, and they can fetch a very high price to the right buyers. Someone possessing those artifacts could find themselves becoming very wealthy very quickly. I suspect that's the motive here. Not in particular. Then again, the low lives of Bruma don't exactly hide themselves all that well. The shadier tavern in town, the restful watchman, full of thieves, bandits, thugs, and other miscreants, might be a decent place to start your search. More than you might think, between the Count, the White Gold Concordat, and all the other treaties, the rules are constantly changing. All I want to do is protect these people, jail criminals, earn my keep. Then the damned wind changes, and with it, the law. And then, what do you know, I'm supposed to jail this group, and that group, and the other group. And for what? For politics. Despite it all, though, I wouldn't trade this job for the world. It's rewarding. Fulfilling. And at least it lets me provide for myself and my family. Yep, me and my family, wife and children, are still there, in fact. But because the place is swarming with people, hard to find any work. I came up here, couldn't find much work either, joined the guard on a whim. Saw a lot, rose to the ranks. And now I'm guard captain. Funny how things work out. I try to take my duties seriously, and send as much as I can back to my loved ones. Until next time. Zombies tend to haunt caves. Be careful if you decide to go treasure hunting.
What is it? Can I help you? Clean, mostly. I do all the work that nobody else wants to. I don't mind it, really. Especially since that means I get to work around my friend Irma. Thanks for asking. See you around. On my advice, always carry a good stock of potions. Seen any goblins around? Primitive little thing. But What's damn, that snot-brained Altmer doing here? This is no place for one Within of them. The walls will keep you safe. Outside, watch your own back. Until next time. You don't think he's Thalmor, do you? No, doesn't seem the sort. But he's still not the right type for our little den. Might bring the wrong kind of attention. So what do we do? Stabbing him would be... excessive, so... I know. Why don't we treat him to a little show of our favorite lusty Argonian maid? Perfect. Let's go fetch her. Here. Take this coin. I'd like to buy a little show for my Altmer friend over there. Sure thing. Oh, one other thing. He wanted you to roleplay as Lifser Tail, you know, from... Ha! <laughs> Altmer. Always the same fantasy. Sure thing. Hey, darling. I heard you wanted a date with Lifser Tail. What is the meaning of this? Lifser Tail? What a ridiculous name for an even more ridiculous... Oh my! Xarxas's breath! What in oblivion are you doing? I demand that you put that back on! We can't be charging to your aid. Timberwolf catches Arvi'll your scent. give me strength! Cease and desist! I demand that you cease and desist at See once, you cretinous lizard woman! Stop jiggling about! Yeah. I can't take this anymore! I think I'm going to faint! I think... Need to oh. get in? Go to the... Feral view. Ha! <laughs> it worked. Otis, you really are a genius. The tavern in town, the restful watchman, but it. <laughs> I know. Sop didn't even know what hit him. Ha! <laughs> they breed him special in Eleanor, don't they? What is it?
Hmm? If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. The Chapel of St. Martin does not violate the terms of the White Gold Concordant. There is no Talos worship going on here. It violates the spirit of the White Gold Concordant. I must urge you to cease and desist at once. Oh? What is the spirit of the White Gold Concordant? The spirit of the White Gold Concordat is that men are not, and can never be, gods. Just as Tiber Septim is not a god, nor is Martin Septim. But what does the Concordat actually say? The Concordat forbids Talos worship. No mention of Martin Septim worship, though? I... No, there isn't. I must consult with my superiors. Perhaps we will have to petition for a slight amendment to some unfortunately specific wording within the Concordat. We will keep our eyes on your little cult, however. Hmm. I don't believe I've seen you before. Fascinating. A newcomer to Bruma, is that what we have here? A joker, too. Wonderful. Yet another troublemaker for us to keep an eye on. At least if your attempts at sardonicism weren't quite so... posturing. Many before you have thought themselves invincible. Above the Thalmor. Above the Dominion. Above their precious empire and its laws. Its concordats. They now find themselves hanging from trees their decrepit husks wasting away amidst near-endless blizzard. Enjoy your stay in this fair city. No, I just wear the uniform for fun. Yes, of course I am. I'm here to protect the Aldmeri interests in Bruma and ensure that the terms of the White Gold Concordat are upheld. Important, given that we're so close to Skyrim and it's rebellious little Nords. Next, you'll be telling me, my, oh my, not many Guar in Bruma. Scales of Ori L, thanks for telling me that. I'll be sure to tell all my friends. Put up posters, even. Goodbye. <laughs> 